Well, I guess we just have to talk to Diane. I guess we can't solve the mystery of the song. I don't see any way to figure out this song that the student wants. Which sucks, because maybe it's like a trophy or something, but... I don't see any, any... Oh, wait a minute, I'm supposed to talk to them. Oh, wait! They know about the song. Look. Song. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes... Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit. Blast from the past. Alabaster daydreams. Oh! Dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. No, it's in there. Sweet. Thanks. It's in there. We just saw that it was in there. Hey, boss. Do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. <laughs> like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Oh. Thanks. So if you try to play the song, it won't play. You have to do this little mini quest. There it is. All right. Let's hear this infamous song. Oh, there it is. Earth Earworm Squasher. Alabaster Daydreams. That's it. How uh. the hell? Don't worry about it. That's it? So I got the trophy for doing it. Okay. They want me to speak with them, but what if I talk to Diane first, right? <clears throat> We're gonna rename it. <laughs> Content ID Daydreams. <laughs> okay, I can't do anything with her right now. I see. If she's hiding something, I need to find out what it is. For Gabe. Okay. All right, what the hell? Suckle Pickle? No, Suckle Puckle. Did a dollar for these says, I wish they made a Gremlins game. That would be interesting. A game where Gremlins infest the town and you have to fight a, find a way to stop them? Yeah, they never made a game like that, right? I think that in old, back in the day, they had like NES games of Gremlins, but. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans actually, but. We're still workshopping them. <laughs> workshopping or two is good. Good to have options, right? So what are they? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? <laughs> She's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Oh, uh, what? Maybe Diane and I still hook up. Not important. Oh. Uh, That's your plan. That's a pretty bad plan. <laughs> oh my god, please tell me you have something better. <laughs> I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan. What? Except <laughs> I'm the distraction. Look, These are Steph, both terrible. I think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. Oh my god. All the transplants are. Nah, he's talking about her. <laughs> okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple <laughs> plan. It's Literally so bad. Two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <sighs> okay, I'm not doing that. No, these are terrible. These are terrible ideas. The only tiebreaker we have. <sighs> it's so stupid. Neither works. You're gonna, look at this. You have to choose. They force you to choose. I don't care. <laughs> Dude, I am a straight guy. I do not give two fucks if the main character in this game thinks that a girl or a guy are more attractive. <laughs> I don't give two fucks. 
I life is stupid. This is this you call here. How's I'm gonna do? Right now, I have absolutely no idea what it's po fo uh, focused on at all. All right. Ah, ah. What happened? Oh, I, <laughs> I opened the phone. I didn't mean to do that. What did I do? Oh my god! Whoa. Yo, there's a hundred messages. Hold on, we should read these messages. Hold on. All right, Riley says, "Can we?" Oh, hold on. Do you play Dust and Daylight? I didn't make you for a JRPG girl. Me neither. I found it here and thought I'd give it a shot. Now I can't get enough. I thought I was playing single player only. You must have spirit guides turn on because I could see you wandering around the port of clouds. That's so cool. Can we play sometime? I'm stuck at the big scorpion boss. I'd love to. Hey, girl, thanks for the drink last night. Great to just unwind with you. You got it. Let's do it again. So apparently she's befriended everyone in town. She's been there now for a couple of weeks. And she's actually befriended everyone in the town. That's cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh... We're meaning I want to fill you in on some of the, uh, the, the digging we're doing on Typhon. Yo, sup? Want to uh, think about bringing that guitar over to the record store and jamming a bit in front of other living human beings? Just this one. I haven't played in front of people in recent memory. I may be particular about a lot of things. In this case, I'm judgment-free or judgment-free zone. What the hell? Let's go for it. By the way, you're genuinely great. You have a gorgeous voice. Thank you. That's way too kind of a down... That's a downright lie. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh my god. Thanks again for everything today. I'm glad I could help. You want to meet tonight and plan with our next super slew thing? Absolutely. You need a break from all the late night research. You want to go mountain biking. Hur hurling over dangerous terrain is so relaxing. You'll have fun. I'll try. Don't worry. We'll place the front wheel. My ass hurts. So it sounds like it didn't go so well. <laughs> you handled it like a champ. Short notice, but tonight is my annual viewing of this amazing nature documentary if you want to join. Amazingly, Steph is busy for the third year in a row, so I'm detecting a pattern here. Is there a stuffy British dude narrating the stuffiest right that I'm in? Mac? Thanks for the help, Chen, but remember, I never told you anything. I risk more than my job to talk to you. I hear you, Mac. Don't worry. Get some sleep. Easier said than done. Uh... Oh my god. Uh. Alright, so. Your speech on the bridge was beautiful. Thank you for being there for us, of course. Diane stopped by with the affidavit again, and I declined. I wish they would just drop it. I'm sorry, Ch Char. I guess we say Charlotte is. Char is short for Charlotte, right? Hang in there, okay? Hey, Alex, would you like to cover, come over for dinner tonight? That sounds amazing. I'd love to. Can I bring anything? Just you, maybe some wine. I'll see you tonight. Hey, again, I'm a little worn out. Any chance you could watch Ethan on Wednesday? Happy to. Can you paint me in more of those lemon bars you made from last week? Sure do. Do you want the recipe? No, I'd much rather earn them by hanging out with Ethan than having to cook. Good deal. <laughs> Hi, Alex. I'm sorry I have to cancel our girls night. I'm not feeling great. No problem. You need anything. It's okay. Thanks, though. Char, how many of the gummies is too many gummies? Oh, gosh. She ate a bunch of dispens uh, the dispensary gummies. <laughs> Sweetie, try and relax. Can you tell me how many you had? How worried would you be if I said five gummies? Did you have anything else with them? Alcohol or other medication? Just snacks. To take a nice deep breath, take a drink of water, and lie down on your side. Don't drive or do anything serious. It'll pass. Did a little more than a normal dose, but nothing dangerous. Okay. Thank you. Did I ever tell you I think you're so beautiful? <laughs> oh, thank you. Put down your phone and close your eyes. Those tests last night were totally a test. Did I pass? With flying colors, ironically, flying colors are also what I see when I close my eyes today. Wow. Oh, uh, and then... Steph and Ryan together, so it's a group conversation? Alright, hold on. Why can't I scroll faster? Oh, you can't... I didn't use the thumbstick instead of the D-pad. It would have been much faster. Now I feel stupid. Guys, I'm making this official welcome to the Takedown Typhon thread. Fuck yeah, it's an honor of pleasure. Let's we'll celebrate at Alex's place tonight. Shouldn't Alex make that proposal? Too late. Guess I'm hosting then. You two feel free for more scheming. Sounds good, I'm down. Crazy idea. Let's bring it to the Typhon office in Denver. I got it all figured out. I bet they have server access there and we can find evidence. Steph, we're not driving to Denver and bringing it to a highly secure corporate office. Boo. But if we did, could I be the getaway driver? Sure. But Steph, your license is expired. How do you even know that? Because he's a big loser, 
A loser with a valid license. You guys are killing me. Well, some of some of that information was pertinent. Some. Not all, but some. At least now we know she's been here for two weeks. She's befriended the townspeople. She's been teaming up with these guys for two weeks. So, honestly, the choice here should be, do you think that Diane is straight or gay and which would, would lure her more? All right? Being that Ryan is knowing that this is just fake as a plot to, to check this out while Steph is malicious and actually wants to sleep with Diane, I think I'm going to go with Ryan. <laughs> there you Let's go. Let's go with Ryan. Of course, you're a total smoke show, Steph, but for Diane, I think Ryan is a good choice. This, Ryan? <laughs> this is like a bad dream. Look, I appreciate the the effort. Wow. But we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I couldn't resist her. You're absolutely right, Golden I'm Colts. Just I tell try. you, when I look at Ryan, I definitely see like a young, um, oh God, Robert Redford. A young Robert Redford. He exudes that that manliness that even I can't resist. So when I see Ryan, I have to pick him. There's no there's no choice between these two. Uh, Anjang Forever just hit me a dollar fifty and says, uh, Hi, today on Dragon Quest Eleven, I beat the bosses Restless Knight and Gloomnivore. I read on YouTube comments that many people had problems with beating Gloomnivore, but I beat that boss today, and I'm enjoying Dragon Quest Eleven. Congratulations. I'm glad Every day you're making great progress, which is great, and you're never getting like, hung up on anything. So that's excellent. And I'm glad to hear that you're, you're enjoying the game and still making great progress. Thank you for sharing, Ann Chang. <clears throat> Excuse me. Atlas Telemon just to me $5. And he says, sorry to comment on off t something off topic. I watched Evo East 2K6. You against Justin Wong. Old Bison versus Balrog and Old Ryu versus Balrog. That was epic with you. What, what you got there. Damn. Yes. I, you know, Super Turbo Balrog is godlike. <laughs> He just is. Even in that game where you could play the older versions of characters, he still fucking dominated nine times out of ten. So, excellent. I can't believe you even found the footage. Like, the, all the, the Evo East footage is, like, hidden in the bowels of the internet. You could barely find it. But, all right, I'm glad that you here. You liked it, and thank you very much for the, the uh, support. We're currently at $28 of tips today, guys. I would appreciate it if you are going to support today, if you could tip some more, because tips are on the slower side. So, thank you in advance, guys, and uh, let's continue. <clears throat> Derek says, did I ever see any movies and TV shows with Robert Redford? I'm sure I did. I'm sure I have. I couldn't name any right now because it's probably older stuff, but I'm sure I've had over the years. Maybe I can get her worked yeah, up we go. and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Django what? Pop says, do I even need to point out that she's going to see the laptop is missing? Why are they going with this? Because they're stupid. Your they're, usual. They're dumbasses. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? Uh oh. Help me for game sake. I know you're responsible. Just no, you don't want to do that. You know all I want is justice for my brother. Please help me. Alex. I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. Oh, God. <clears throat> we want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. It's been two weeks That's already. You didn't find shit. <laughs> Why did she do that and then that? She's like... got a great poker face, unlike Mac. But let's see what she's really feeling. Discomfort. She has gas. She had some burritos before. Let me try and <laughs> Burritos before the scene. Yeah, she's afraid. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She's sad. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. Okay. Diane seems really put together, but inside, she's just as much a mess as the rest of us. A cross? She's a Christian, huh? Ask about the napkins. What's that photo? Oh, such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. No emotional attachment to anything here? Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. 
What is this Bloom sticker on her laptop? I just noticed. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to Bloom? him. Bloom? <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. How did that not work? Of all the people this could have happened to, why'd it have to be him? Well, it is working. She's still thinking about it. Typhon does a lot of local hiring, huh? We're always growing. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. Beers? He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. If her work days okay. is sitting in a bar typing on the laptop, how's that a big deal? Something that will push right? Diane's emotions over the edge. Oh, definitely the plaque. This wasn't even available before. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. You? Why did you make it like it was her choices? She didn't do it. That's fucked up. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Extreme sadness. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. Yeah. Chef Venus did a super chat saying, Every phenotype in the game is why the USA is the winter of civilization. No same person will speak like these people, but it embodies your actual politics. Wow. Chef Venus, you're just such a positive thinker and such a... <laughs> what a nice thing to say about Americans. I really appreciate that. Like... <laughs> Really makes me feel proud of everyone here in America. Thanks a lot. Okay. Oh! Okay. Whoa, things are glowing now. You see? So okay. someone asked. Is she time to find out what Diane is really hiding? Is she psychic and can she read minds? No, but when she makes someone feel a strong emotion, then she can see what they're feeling emotions about. You see? He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. <laughs> okay. What the oh, hold it. Hello? Miss Jacobs? It's oh, Pike. okay. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? Wait, there's something else. An evil thumb drive! Ooh, get it! I can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played. But at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Send in the stud! <laughs> he rips his shirt open. Oh, hey, Diane. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, at least swapping the USB stick is a lot easier than stealing the whole fucking laptop. <clears throat> Hey, Ryan, do, can you do the, the titty dance? Do, 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 do. Hey, Diane, look at this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you gotta distract her. Come on. You gotta do something studly, macho. Here we go. Diane? Hey, Ryan. What's up? Well, Come on. if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together 
There's some <laughs> beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. Sounds yeah. fun. Ryan knows all about the local flora and fauna of Haven. <laughs> Ryan, tell her about the flora and fauna. All right. Oh. Uh. Well. That right there is a Colorado pinion jay. It. She did it. More than forty seeds at a time. She stole. With an expandable esophagus. That is impressive. So. What do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. Oh my god. See ya. I don't wanna wait till I get a DMCM claim. I want to know right now. Content ID. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. They told, this is totally Dawson's Creek. If you guys ever saw Dawson's Creek, they act like the characters from that show. <laughs> Holy shit, that was epic. Totally insane. insane. My heart is pounding. <laughs> Ryan, real talk. I think Diane actually wants you. I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> now you're stuck. You're stuck oh, going man. on a walk and sleeping with her. You're stuck. You gotta marry her now. That's how it works in Colorado. When you ask a girl out, you gotta marry her ass. She's probably already buying uh, things for your first child. <laughs> All right. You guys. Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, my God. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. Wow. You didn't think there would be a password? Mr. Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a wizard computer stuff. She's a In wizard meantime, computer stuff, but she can't get into a college. Have a LARP to do. <laughs> LARP. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? Keep the hat, guitar, really? Huh? What does keep the hat mean? I don't understand. Keep the hat? What does that have to do with anything they're talking about? I'm going to say it. One question. When the LARP's over, can I keep the hat? No. I'd say that all depends on how you do. You pay for Damn. it. Damn. Gauntlet thrown. <laughs> the only thing is on Dawson's Creek, they never would have LARPed. They would have so, done something from the 90s, the you know? Yeah, barely. <laughs> they would have pogged. They would have thrown pogs down. <laughs> yes. Oh, yo, you totally hit my slammer. Oh. I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. What is a LARP live action role playing? That's all you need to know. Black Lantern will be closed to regular business this afternoon to participate in Steph Gingrich's live action game. We'll see you all this evening in the park for the Spring Festival. Have fun. Live action game. What? It's called a live action role playing, Dad. I knew that. I was testing you. The Sheriff's Department would like to wow. do, provide... Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon Explosions. Huh. The Sheriff's Department would like to provide a brief update regarding our ongoing... And he spelled it wrong. It's out ongoing. It's our ongoing. Investigation into the death of Gabe Chen. Mr. Chen's death was officially ruled an accident. However, our investigation remains open and we encourage any members of the community who might have valuable information to step forward and share it with us. Our goal now is to gain a comprehensive understanding of the events that lead to Mr. Chen's death in order to prevent further harm from befalling anyone in our community in the future. Thanks for your service, Deputy Pike. If it was ruled an accident, why are you still investigating? As stated above, the goal at this point is to gather enough information to prevent an accident like this from occurring in the future. Accident, square quotes, yum, love to lick boots. Go back to your safe space. Please don't make me disable the comments. <laughs> Good morning, Haven Springs. The famous rose cart was polished up and stocked with our finest, and you can find it at the park at sundown. Pick one up and present it to your spring festival sweetheart. Oh, no. This is going to happen in the game, isn't it? They're going to do this. Ugh. 
Man, no one ever gave him, has never given me a rose at the Spring Festival. Don't worry, no one's ever given Ryan one either. Har har, we'll see who's laughing tonight. Me at you. Yeah, probably. Dude, it's no fun picking on you if you're just going to admit defeat. Wow. LARP volunteers, some of you still haven't synced up with me about your characters. Cutting it a little close there, buds. Ducky says, to Stephanie, I've written an extensive backstory for my characters inspired in part by sections of Wu Cheng's Wu Chengen's Journey to the West. However, whenever I try to include it in this application, I receive an error message to the effect that I've exceeded the character limit. Thoughts? Well, I know what I'm doing with my afternoon. Can you drop off a copy at the shop? On my way. <clears throat> Reiner to all him a residence of the mining... Okay, set up more charges at 5 p.m. So they continued to do their, their blasting, even after the disaster. Best job I've ever had. Not that the competition is super fierce. Yeah. Attention Black Lantern customers. The Black Lantern is happy to announce that we have returned to our normal hours of operation. And they said, you know, Alex is the new employee. Let's call for LARPers. And then Ducky again. I started a science fiction film. I'd like to be a LARPer. Hey, all decided to close my portrait commissions for the time being. I need to work through my backlog. Sorry to disappoint. So Thank many memories uh, of Gabe I didn't get to make. Thank you to everyone who attended the Gabe Chan Memorial Service and a special show of gratitude to those who spoke. I think we did Gabe proud. Remember that thing he used to do when he would get choked up but he was too embarrassed to admit it? I haven't cried since I was like 14. It's allergies. Don't look at me. I'm going to miss him a lot. I think that's it. It's probably the last one, right? Oh, I found Chrissy wreaking havoc on Miss Crawford's flower beds. What? All right. Are we? Wait a minute. We got one new message. <clears throat> you guys are killing me. The plan is to go distract, distract. That's what she typed on the phone to them. I see. Oh, Derek is taking off. Derek, then have a good day, sir. I'll see you later. <clears throat> okay. My weapon of choice. Isn't she supposed to be a bard? A spoony bard? Is every bard spoony? It's a good question. What's in the chest? What's in the chest? What's in the chest? Huh. There it is. What are we looking for? A bard's hat? That's probably what she was looking for, right? A key? What's this key to? Oh, hi there. Now, what do you unlock? Oh, maybe we can open something with that. We grabbed a key. A feather boa. Yeah. I don't need to know what that was for. A uh, robot. Half person, half dump truck. I feel you. A secret beer. Another one of Gabe's hidden cans. To work. Uh, why did the beer have to be so secret? <laughs> okay, then. Hey, I guess we'll take the bard's hat. Oh, shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. It's a bard's hat, huh? Gabe's Gabe last Chen. effects from the coroner. Uh. I <clears throat> took it off a few days ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, I've been avoiding looking through it. Maybe you got a big, ro okay. a big lump of weed on him. Open that. Right? Here's his wallet. You can take the kid out of juvie. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. What happened? I was looking at his effects. What happened? I better find that feather. No, I'm not so done. I was looking at his fucking effects. I hit X to select and she put it down. I don't want to put it down. What? Okay. Oh. You're hot. Hurry up and finish your shift. Love, Char. What's this key? Yeah, it's weird when you hit select, it doesn't select. It just backs out. That's that's freaking weird. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. Oh no. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. All right, Derek, I'll see you later, man. Thanks for stopping by today. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Cuts the Black Swordsman says, Alex Chen reminds him of Jill Valentine from Resident Evil 3. I don't know about that. Do you think she looks like Jill Valentine? What? 
We're one step closer now. Totally not corporate sabotage to-do list. Figure out Diane's deal. Maybe read her working on it. <clears throat> they check the public records. Legal ways to file a complaint. Turns out corporate law is complicated. Contact private investigation. All three dudes give a crazy high price. Pass. <clears throat> Research other type in sites in U.S. and abroad. Spy on miners in the Black Lantern. Do you want me to get fired? No. Use the dark web to find an elite hacker. Couldn't figure out the dark web. Take a break and watch Nightmare on Elm Street. Done. Done. Done and loved it. Request a copy of Completed Police Port Ryan. I can't go any faster than this, by the way. How does Haven feel about Typhon? Radio poll? Step. Okay. Jill Valentine's original lore is that she was half Japanese, but in the remake she's played by a Slavic and Russian girl. Oh. There's been so many, like, iterations of Jill that I don't even know if there's a canon one. Like, in the original game, she looks totally different than when, like, Resident Evil 5, when she gets the blonde hair, all of a sudden her face changes. You're like, what the fuck? Why her whole facial structure change? Steph, I will murder you. Steph told me you'd be willing to play out our next open mic night. I wager it'd be really help loosen folks up and break the ice. Can you make it, Jed? Oh, there's the gummy! Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. Alex, thanks for the foosball game. I mean it. Also, only eat one of these at a time. TX Shooter did a super chat. He says, have you seen 13 Reasons Why Season 1 is sad? No. I didn't see it. It actually came out after I got rid of Netflix, and uh, I doubt I would have watched it, even if I still had it. <clears throat> Chipmunk. What's in the drawer? Oh, it can unlock with the key. What's in this locked drawer? Let's find out. What's in the drawer? What's in the drawer? Oh, suffered head. <laughs> oh. Nice. This must have been Gabe's. Make shit right list. Find Alex. Find the owner of stolen Chevy. Reimburse Jed for free rent. Reimburse Ernesto's Walkman. No, return Ernesto's Walkman. Donate to Lawrence Detention Center. Apologize to Vic. New bong for Kevin. Apologize to Zoe. Who are these people, Kevin and Zoe? They're not even in the game. Really apologize to Katya this time. These characters don't exist, right? Oh, God. I have to scroll down again. Ugh. Chris changed more than Jill. Chris gets a new face and skin every game. That's true, too. Uh, apologize to Ira and tell him you like his remixes. That's a long list. <clears throat> and I bet he would have gotten through it. Apologize to Oscar. Pay Mr. Walbeck for the Chevy. Apologize to the guy from the mall. Write a thank you letter to Lenny. Mail check to Mrs. Franks for the broken window. She moved to Maryland. Well, didn't track her down. Write to Miss Henry at Buckman High and tell her she was right and forgive Dad. Wow. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh? Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. You're like, welcome travelers today. Thanor, the monster slayer, visits the troubled Stoneborn, a capital city of Canes, or Calms. Can he dispatch the ravenous monster horde and save the kingdom? A LARP or live action role play is a game in which players portray their, favor their characters through physical action, using costumes and props to add to the fun. We're here to have fun, so don't, don't hit too hard. Go for the arms, legs, and torso, back, the sides, and front. Avoid the hands, feet, and neck, and head. Act stuff out. If you get hit, perform a grunt or injury. Thank you so much for doing this. It means a lot. <clears throat> okay. And here's the characters. Alto, the half-elf. Class bard. Untuned cord, one damage. Distortion field, one sound damage over the next two turns. Stirring him doubles Thanor's next attack. After an unusual encounter with a direwolf swallowing her kite, Alto the Bard has been a constant companion to Thanor the Monster Slayer. The two have endured many trials and have recently found themselves answering a call for heroes in the city of Stoneborn. Then we've got Thanor, and that's obviously supposed to be Ethan's character. He's the hero. His stab and burning blade and shield of courage. Thanor the Monster Slayer is the most famous hero of the Adderway Peninsula. Even the smallest child knows how he once felt a valley bear with empty hands and hurled a spear into the breast of a wraith mid-flight. Um, uh, entire cities have been saved from the scourges of darkness thanks to Thanor and his unrivaled strength. 
Wow. What a stud. Uh, Stoneborn here. They actually, actually made a, uh, a map. Look at that. A dire rat joined your party. <laughs> she called Shushu a dire rat. It's kind of messed up, actually. What's wrong with what she's wearing? I guess you could wear another different outfit. Let's see. Blue with, with weird symbols. Oh, whales. Whales on the shirt. Or a uh, plaid. Everyone's into plaid in this town. You know what? If you take a look, actually, this outfit matches the hat. So we'll wear that outfit because it matches the hat. That makes sense. All right. My nose is itching me badly today. I don't know why. Leave it to me to wreck Gabe's bike on my first ride. At least Ryan had a good laugh about it. Oh, it's hilarious. I have premium clothes, not to my knowledge. I didn't I didn't do anything special with this game. I just got the regular edition, so I don't know why I would have premium clothes. No, I'm not using music stuff. I'm not fucking with the MCA. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing? Didn't, oh, the feather. I found it. That's what I was looking for the whole time, the feather. Oops. Golden Colt says it looks like I'm about to take over the Ukraine. There you go. She looks like Che Guevara. <laughs> what? Okay. She, she does? Just need to grab my guitar now. You think she looks like Che Guevara? You think that? Wow. All right. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> uh Oh, wait a minute. So hold on. SOS, not sure LARP is happening cuz Ethan's not into it. Shit, it sounds like his dad is picking up in a few hours too. FML. Any ideas? Let me try talking to him. I'll be right there. Hero. So you got to go talk to Ethan into doing the LARP. The whole thing was for him anyway, and now he doesn't want to do it and his dad's showing up. Well, let's tell him that his dad's a fucking deadbeat. <laughs> One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. Yeah, she says, I appreciate your offer to start paying rent, but fill your piggy bank for a few months first. Okay. Is it worth 60 bucks as Toast Runner? Toast Runner, I, I will answer that question when I beat the game. I don't want to make a judgment until it's done, because I actually have no idea how long the game is. I'm playing it casually, obviously. I'm not rushing through it. I'm taking my time and enjoying it. But I don't want to give you an actual, you know, opinion on that until I, I get to the point where, you know, I'm, 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 I finish it and I see all the content, so. Play him a song. Hey. You're an ungrateful little bastard. We did all this for you, and now you like don't want to do it. Up so screw you. Or whatever. <laughs> okay. So maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but. Do it for Gabe, do it for me, do it for Steph. For Gabe, of course. Gabe was so excited to LARP with you. I bet he'd really want you to do it. I do want to do this. It's just... Oh, uh, whoa! Strong emotions! Whoa! Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Huh. <clears throat> but he's not happy. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, especially my mom. She always looks so <sighs> sad. Cause I'm like bummed out. But I can't just pretend. Sure you can, or then don't. Then don't. So, don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. 
But what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then actually beat people with the sword. Who cares? Beat them up. That's fine, too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Wow, this is going to be great. <laughs> Game of the year material coming up here. I can tell, I can feel it, guys. Here we go. I'll see you later, Kagome. <laughs> Who cares about the kid's feelings? Stay That's what on, therapy the is for? Slayer. Oh, yeah. He's just a kid. He has totally years and years to fix the, the, the emotional, psychological do damage we're about to deal to him. So who gives a fuck what happens to He's him? to the gods and all the <laughs> heavens who've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, I once made a, a foot-long turd. It was amazing. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, here we go. Oh. You're an ungrateful bastard. You don't care about LARPing. Oh, shit. Oh, let's see. Horde of ogres or ancient kraken? We'll do the horde of ogres. I don't like the krakens. A horde of ogres. That's a lot. Thanor slew them with a single shot. My goodness. <laughs> that was terrible. So Holy you shit. you must be Thanor's bard, Alto, whose songs have magical powers. Jim looks like Burger King. It's You're sad. right. Yo, he does. <laughs> he looks like the Burger King, the mascot from the commercials. <laughs> He's going to start sneaking around with whoppers and putting them down in, the, in, in random places in Haven. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. Yo, now I can't even see it. My he looks just King like Taylor. him. He's fucking Burger the King. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. <laughs> Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. Oh, but no. But there's hope. An ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can this save This is boring. Us all. Can we stab things? I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yes. Good. Then you must go now. My people are counting on you. I did play the Burger King 360 games, road? Carlton Jr. Okay. Yes. I don't think I played all of them. I played two of them. I played Time Sneak King, and I, there was jewels. another one I played, I think. I don't think I played all three. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. Reminder, we're open, and a lot of you have floral needs in the ramp up to the Spring Festival, despite the event on Main Street where we're maintaining business hours. Attention, Monster Hunters. It appears to be the result of some sort of extra-dimensional rift opening up and spilling another universe's floors into our world. The Magpie Emporium will investigate. The Magpie Emporium arrived in the night, transforming an empty storefront into a fully stocked magic supply shop. Mortal residents are encouraged to come by and peruse our wares. This is kind of... <clears throat> Hold on. That's it? Of exciting. Okay. Kind of exciting? Let me tell you something, kid. I've been holding in my piss for hours. So you better make the best of this. Character sheet? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I already read this. He has stab and burning blade and he can shield himself. You have... Just a, a crappy untuned cord, one damage attack, but you can do a distortion field that will do damage over time. And also, you could double his next attack. It's exciting. Time to LARP. How Let's do we do know it. where to look? I think we don't know. <laughs> it's a true adventure. No. Oh. You look for the nerd throwing tinfoil and yelling, Lightning bolts! Lightning bolts! That's how you know where to go. <laughs> this is very exciting. A scroll. Scroll of healing restores all you and your allies to full health, removes all negative stat effects. Poison stun may only be used once. What is that? It's a magic scroll. Oh, uh, nothing. It's mine. In fights. I found it for oh, me, not you. Awesome. Stay away. <laughs> we should find as many as we can. It's my item. Find your own items. Oh boy. Okay. Hey look, it's an asshole. It's a wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? 
<laughs> Kick him in his dire nuts. Now it's turn-based combat. Here we go. Yeah! Yo, this is great! Attack yes untuned cord. Untuned cord. Yeah. Damage. <laughs> yeah. Come on. All right. Ethan's turn. Use sh shield of courage to defend himself. Yo, they even have animations where they freeze. Look at that. He goes like that, and he freezes for a second, and then he unfreezes. It's like old school games where they used to do mocap. Burning blade. One damage. And you're on fire for the next two turns. I love it. It's very, damage. it's very reminiscent of, of RPG music I've heard uh, in other games. I'm still on fire. Yeah. So, here we go. Stirring him. Stirring him. Double Thanor's next attack. Yeah. Stab him. <clears throat> Four damage. <sighs> He died! We killed the dire wolf! Yeah! Da -da -da -na 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 -na. Oh, look. <laughs> he throws the loot down! <laughs> oh, cool! Yeah. I learned a magic attack! <laughs> One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. Whoa! Fire Blast! It'll do three damage to enemies, but it will do one damage to your ally. Maybe used once per battle only. Ah. Carlton Jr. says this is actually interesting. It kind of reminds me of a South Park, The Stick of Truth. Yeah, the music? I'm trying to remember what game this music is from. Oh, it's from, uh, fucking... Dude, it's Chrono Trigger! It's the Chrono Trigger battle theme. It is. Listen to it. Listen to it in the next fight. It's the Chrono Trigger battle theme. They redid it for this game. Let's keep going. So I wonder, does it, do you do you auto heal after each fight? What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. Oh. I should probably drop in on Riley and thank her in person. Oh look. So what is this? I made Ryan tell me what the USB is for. He was being vague for my own protection. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to try to investigate you. Access? No guarantees. Depends on how good the password is. Thank you so much for trying. We weren't sure if you would. You deserve the truth. Typhon's obviously hiding something and Mac is scared to death of them. I'll be at the shop if you need anything. I really appreciate it. Okay. How in the hell do I remember that? Because I told you. Music sticks in my head. I'm a, I have a musical mind where I remember musical stuff in my head. So I will, I will always remember something like that. Oh, I must look like such a goofball. So much for being hot. Hot and goofball are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> At least in my book. Oh my god. Well, some people like like funny guys. Thank god for that for me, because I know I'm not hot. How do we know for sure it's dead? Yeah. Should we tickle it? Yeah, we should. Stop it. Be serious. Actually, we need to recover our HP after the fight, so we should uh we should kill or gut the gut and eat the meat, right? That's what I would do. A dollar? Whoa, Ethan's I dollar. The top ones. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. I did. I don't have to prove it. I'm going to tell my mom you called me a liar. <laughs> Do it, dude. I dare you. Nah. Gabe, you would have really had fun with all this. Well, we got a memory off the dollar that he dropped. Don't tell him he dropped the dollar. Come back here later. Get it for yourself. Sorry, Ryan. It was self-defense. Dire Wolf just got slaughtered. Hold on. I see a stick of bashing down here. Look at that. And water of drinking. Let's cross the water of drink. Oh, I can't. Water of drinking. 
Have I ever heard of th the classic song Thugs on the Flow? No, I never heard of that. Sounds like something some asshole would, would make up. What's going on over here? Hey, you guys are LARPing, right? Because you're going to get whooped in a second. Let's go to the peach. Hmm. Oh, there's another scroll hidden over here. Look. It's cute, right? Another scroll of healing. We have two Found scrolls scroll? of healing now. Yeah. I don't know. Well, now, who do we have here? Thane or the Monster Slayer. And my bard. <laughs> and what you up to, Thane or? Saving your lives. There's monsters out there. Orcs and minotaurs and such. Be careful. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Sounds How like you may have built up hunger for ice cream. With, uh, candy treasure hoard, chocolate coins. <laughs> Sugar pearls? Gummy jewels? You're trying too hard. Yes, I love that. Mint chocolate chip for the dragon? Topped with fire cinnamon candies. They're trying to brainstorm products. <laughs> I'd say you're on fire yourself. Wow. So they brainstormed a new product based off the LARPing. Well, they owe us the, the licensing rights for that because we're the ones who inspired it. They better pay us in many gold coins. Can't go over here? Oh, okay. I just want to see if there's any items. Oh, there is. Look. There's hidden items all around. Scroll of nimbleness plus one to dodge. You and your allies will dodge the next attack, but can only be used once. You use that during a boss fight, right? Got another scroll. Cool. Oh, God. I see someone with a hat on. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone's got a hat on. What's this? Oh, it's the uh, the legendary uh, Ford pickup truck of blocking. <laughs> so you can't go down there. Sorry. <clears throat> That's right. What is it called? The what is it, like a Ford F one thirty or something? Okay. Oh boy, look at this. Oh no. Do we really want to deal with this? Maybe we should just go to the other side of the road. I don't know. <sighs> Alright, we'll play along. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. Heed my warning, you traveling twosome. Oh no. For within that tavern, it is quite gruesome. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. That makes two of us. The writer boyfriend. Hey, let's hear your riddle. Oh, no. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. How about I bop you straight in what your head? What are their names? Do not be misled. How are we supposed to know that? Maybe we can look for some clues. Maybe we can kill this jester till he's dead. <laughs> uh... Clues? Clues. Fuck the clues. Okay. Oh. What the? Look at this. Gullweather's Tavern? I would gladly work at a place called Gullweather's Tavern. There's blood. I hope this is not Chris's blood. Oh. What's that about? Appointment slip? Looks like you dropped something, Diane. What? Appointment reminder, Diane, every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Western Slope Behavioral Mel... What is going on here? I just haven't slept. You know? Every time I close my eyes, my brain pulls up all these thoughts. Whoa. These regrets. So I just lie there. Crying and feeling like a horrible person. You mentioned regrets. Can you drill down on that? What is it that you regret? I don't know. I'm not sure of anything right now. Huh. So that was unrelated to what we're actually doing. 
in the LARP, but it was critical to the story that we figured it out. Take heed, it is believed that a swamp troll has been taking residence below the eastern bridge. Use extreme caution when crossing, or better yet, just don't. Alright, well, I guess this is definitely a part of the LARP, right? Of course, we're about to take a break, so maybe I shouldn't go in there. Let's quickly see if there's anything else around where the, this jester is. I don't see anything, though. I guess we need to go into that bar. That's probably one of the critical things to do. Aren't I supposed to be the one teaching you how to throw? Hey, hey. What's all this? Too busy to talk right now. Sorry. Knock him dead? Ethan's back to his old self, thank God. What a great kid. Ethan's oh. got a lot of people who care about him. Oh, that's cool. Right? Okay. Oh, here's another one that says take heed. Alright, I guess we, we don't I don't want to skip this, so we should go back and do this first. Paul Rudd. Just to be $6.66 and says, Have you seen my movie Role Models? Now let us gently touch our lips. Oh, uh, did I ever see Role Models? Uh, I don't think so. I actually don't think I ever saw that one. Doesn't? It's not ringing a bell, Paul Rudd. Although I do like Paul Rudd as an actor. Alright. 